Hey everybody, welcome back to Timberborn, it's your friend Sarmaid here, hope you're having a fantastic and amazing day today. We've got some beery things that we want to do, I think I'm going to go across this way, and we're going to go down over here, and uh, start building over here a little bit, and then we're going to work our way over to the ruins, I think we can check out some of that action, that's like some metal stuff that we haven't played with yet, so I'm curious about it, so I want to check it out. And uh, I want to also get into some more advanced power things, I don't really like this power wheel, it's uh, I don't like that it takes up a, a beaver, you know, I want it to run... Auto automatically by itself you know uh, so we built this purple lodge in the last episode it's currently vacant we do have a couple more births so that means we should be getting some more beavers here pretty quick i also noticed that we're getting a little bit low on food and we don't have any potatoes so i looked and we don't have a chef nobody's cooking them so we gotta get some more beavers in there and i was gonna flex out uh this guy i thought i could oh i just turned it off and then we're gonna put them into the grill here. And that should have worked. Why didn't it work? That. No beavers available, huh? That's weird. That should have worked. Uh, let's see. Where do they go? So we have two more people here as workers. We don't wanna take those guys away. Uh, oh, they might have gone into the inventor here. So I'm gonna turn one of these adventures off. And there we go. Now we got a beaver in there. So that's gonna get. Oops, that's gonna get going. That's great. Oh, no recipe selected. That's what that is saying. Okay, so we can do recipe right here, and that's going to be our grilled potatoes. I wonder what other options there are. None and grilled potatoes. Oh! Chestnuts and whatever that other word was. Spatter, spatter dock. Sure. So that's cool. Get those potatoes rolling in, since we have those already, not the other guys. And then I wanted to do another farm over here, I think. We're going to do a uh, farmhouse. Rotate that guy around here. And we're going to put this right here here we do have another farmhouse right here but we only can have two people two beavers working in here at a time so i want another one so that they can run this field that we're going to put in here in just a moment we're going to do uh carrots so that's going to be plant crops that's going to be carrots we're going to go oh i don't know how big you think we'll go like this and we'll go about yay big and uh we might hmm, eh, maybe i shouldn't have done that because i think eventually i want to try and get water over here somehow and we do have these irrigation towers that I don't really like anymore because they have to be filled up by the beavers. They have to bring the water from here all the way up over here and fill this up. By the time they do that and go back to fill it up, this thing's empty and it's kind of pointless. So I'm wondering if we could get the a water dump, this guy right here, and dump water in there. Or this guy even, the mechanical water pump, which is even better. Uh, it looks like gears, uh, shiny planks, and um, that looks like an I beam to me. So I think that's uh, iron or metal. So that's we got to get into metal for that. So I'll get this started, and uh, I think we're gonna need some planks. So we're gonna have to work our way down this way, and to do that, we're gonna need some stairways. So that requires some planks. We need some more workers though. So we have one unemployed beaver. That's not too bad. And I think I'm gonna just shift out some of these inventors we don't need that many right now we have tons of inventing points right now so we're just gonna do that get some uh planks built up like so and then we can get to building uh so so the other thing i wanted to get into was the gears and so uh, another an alternative power method is this windmill here so it's kind of sounds like a fun idea so we can get this started and i was thinking about maybe building them up here but it might be tricky to get to this um, but so i think we're gonna go i think we're gonna try and figure it out anyways so we'll go with our windmill right here and a windmill right here and what i was thinking is since these guys have the connection going this way and this way maybe we do uh like a an, like a t right here probably and then we go over this way and then this is going to be an l or t probably a t and then these guys are going to connect and work together and then one's going to go down here we'll replace this wheel and put a connection there and then i also want to have the uh the gear guy which is right here the gear workshop and we'll put that down over here so then we can connect to it as well so i think we'll do like oh let's see here this will probably work about right uh, i'm gonna do this i'm gonna put it up here so we have some extra space to work i'm not really sure how much i'm gonna need so we're gonna do that and I think these things probably take some planks. Yeah, that takes a little bit of plank action. That takes some planks too. So this has to be running for a little while yet before we could turn it off and uh, get our planks or our power 
connected. So we got to have a guy running in there for a little bit yet. Yeah. That's all right. Uh, so well, in the meantime, we could try and... Ooh, what does this guy do? Transfers power. So it looks like that's going up and down. So it's going to take one gear and a plank and three logs. So it looks like before we can even get to this, because of how I'm building this, we have to have a power wheel to get a gear. So we'll put that in there. And then, we, of course, we have to have our path. So we'll put the path in there like so. Just do it on either side there. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and we'll grab the intersections like I was thinking and we can rotate this guy around uh, I want this to be like this because we're gonna go down well, hmm. yeah that's right we're gonna go down and we're gonna go over and then this guy is gonna be like this because we need to connect with this and we're gonna go down over this way so we're gonna go like that and then we're gonna run like so that was really quick that came up fast and then we want to go like this and then this guy i think is going to connect on the ground level so let's see if we can get a look at it yeah so it connects on the ground level and then attaches to the top so that's pretty good we could i think i'm going to go across this one more and then we'll do like uh like this where is it uh these guys the double platform and the platform like that power connection and then we'll do that drop down right oh a little bit leg there about right there and then we'll do a turn and then we're going to connect into there like so um you know yeah no we have to do it that way because we can't connect to it i was gonna say well why am i why am i connecting this when i don't need it well, i do need it that's why so we're gonna do like that there we go and then eventually this guy is gonna go right there okay so then i guess we just have to let this roll and get built up gonna be a little bit here because we're gonna need a lot of stuff that goes into this and uh, i'm wondering about pathing do i need to put a path up here i'm gonna throw one in just in case because these guys reached this one from way over here so i'm thinking that that should be close enough we'll see i think it'll work i think it will work out just let that go i guess and then we can start over here and we are going to start with our double platform because we're trying to cross this water and i figure Going right across here would be a good spot because the stairway's right there. It's just a kind of a straight shot. And then we'll get this guy going like so. And then we got to, of course, do our pathway. So we'll do a path like so. And then I was thinking about having another district down here. I'll have like an upper and a lower district. And because I think that this path is going to be too far away, you can see that these colors changes. So like this is all red right here. I don't think that that's going to reach all the way over here. So we're going to need another district anyway. So. I think I'm going to do a district gate right before we drop, and it's going to be about right in line. Let's do it like this. We'll put it right there, and then we'll do our pathway like so. There we go. And then that guy right there. And then we can start to drop down. So we want to have a stairway. So we need, a, we need this first, I believe. Uh, that's saying it's too far. Build more paths to a new district. Oh, that's because it's not built over here yet. Okay. So we're going to do that. We got a stairway to go up. And then we got like this. Mm, maybe that's not going to work. I was going to say we go this way. Go, I guess I wanted to go sideways. Go down and go sideways and come around. But it looks like we got to just go straight down. That, mm, that might be better for speed. Efficiency wise. I don't know. Let's check it out. Let's see, see what we need here. So we could do triple right here. Uh, we could definitely afford to do that. So let's do it. We'll go triple. And that will work out pretty well, I think. And we'll go down like that. And then we need one more to meet it like this. And then we'll go like that. All right. And then a single triple should be plenty. Yeah, match it up. And then we need a double. And a single. And there we go. Stairway, stairway, stairway. Cool. That's kind of our connecting stairway area place. And we are going to need a district center. So that's going to go about right there, I think. I hope that that's not too far over for to reach this stuff. I don't think it is. We look up here. Well, well, might be close. Let's put it in. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how it works. I don't know if we'll make it all the way over to that in this episode, but I want to get as close as we can. I can't really tell how the height difference with this. It looks like three, at least three. 
So I, I'm going to have to build across this a little bit. That's no problem. And I would kind of want to do our suspension bridge. So we'll get that going too in a little bit. But we want to get rid of... Oh, I was in the right spot. Get rid of this little guy right there. And then we're going to do our path and structures and go path. We're going to go this way a touch. And then I'm going to go about right there. And then I want to get into the suspension bridge. So let's see how this works. Uh, I don't know how to like... Pat, like make this go further so we're gonna have to figure that out and we'll do that as well so it's gonna be a minute before all that gets happening but there it is it's on the way and then of course there's a bunch of trees down here so in our new little district area we're gonna need some gatherers so we're gonna grab this lumberjack action we'll put that guy uh that'll work right there put it right there and then of course we're going to need to have a spot to put all this good stuff and we can do that with storage and we'll do a log pile and that log pile is going to work perfectly right there. Let's pop that down. All right, excellent. So that's going to be a while for all that to get done. But I like that I can lay it out and plant it and just the beavers just go to town. Uh, oh, I did, I did do that across, didn't I? Yeah, okay, that's good to go. All right. So this farm is operational. We got two people working there. We got two beavers there, two there. Okay, great. So we must have some... Okay, we have nobody unemployed. That's great. Uh, but we do have a couple more borns growing up. So this should have somebody in it. And it does. Look at that. So it's almost full already. That's great. With just a couple more beavers. We needed those guys for sure. And we have some cooked potatoes. So that's awesome. So what else can we get into here? We got our power. Oh, our power is running over here. We got our other two uh, do doodler bobs working. Our two windmills. And we need the gears. So where do we have our gears coming in? So we've got wood here. We have no planks apparently, which that doesn't surprise me because we've been using them all over the place. Uh, we need one gear, so you are making gears, right? Yeah, so it's working. It's just kind of slow. Maybe, uh, okay, there's one gear. So that should go here pretty quickly. And there we go. Excellent. So what does the wood take? Or not the wood, the, uh, these guys take. Just a lot. Perfect. Okay, so let's do this. Let's turn off this power wheel, or delete it, I mean. And then we are going to do the power. We're going to do a straight shaft and we're going to go like that. And then we got to get rid of that road in the Twix here. Yes. And then we want to get this power and then this and then like that. Okay, now this should be powered by all this contraption y stuff. So let's see how long that takes to work. So I did have plenty of space in here. I could have moved this closer, but I didn't know. So that's what we did. And it works out. And you can kind of see what's going on to it. That's cool. So there we go. As long as one of these is running, it looks like this is going to be operating. So that's awesome. Pretty fun. We got an open beaver now. Two unemployed. So we can put people back into the builder's hut and back into the hauling post to help out around town. Just because that is all the better. So we're going to do that. Check this out. So they're almost across the water here, which is pretty great. I'm really wondering about the suspension bridges. All of that's supposed to work because I don't see... Like there's no, oh, what, maybe that's what this is. I don't have a revenue column. Nope, that's not it. Yeah, I don't know how that's gonna work. So I'm really curious about it. Oh, you know what? I think I just figured it out. So there's all these like four by and whatever. I bet you that this is the length. So my speculation is that's the length of how far it will span. So let's go with the three by one. I just want to see what this looks like. Aha, look at that. Okay, so I'm right in that with that idea. So that's not going to quite make that gap, is it? So that's little, that little itty bitty suspension bridge is pretty useless. So we got our long one here and we can't really get into these because we need metal. So uh, what we could do is build platforms and just go all the way across this. But I want to I want to play with the suspension bridge. I want to get that working out. Uh, we, we are obviously going to need to have some kind of supports over here eventually. Uh, maybe we, maybe we just build the, uh, platforms across. Might be better. This is going to look, look better, I think, with it's a platforms versus just the, uh, uh, the suspension bridge is not, like, being floating and then they're connecting to stuff like that. It's going to look goofy, I think. So, we'll just put this guy in like that. The water's still free to move and all that other stuff for now, anyways. Maybe we could raise it up. Ooh, that's an idea. Raise it up and, uh, get that going over there as well. That would be good. Uh, that's going to start to fill in this dark area. And then we would get some trees back. Okay, that's an idea. So we can see here, this is how long our 
Oops, that's not gonna work like that. We need a stair there. Do that, get rid of you, and then we gotta go stairway. Boom, boom, boom. Alright, and then gotta go like this. And then like that. Okay, cool. Not too bad. That's not too bad. I like that's not as bad as I thought it was gonna look. But it'll work for us pretty good. Of course, that's gonna be down the road a quite a ways. So the one thing I'm wondering about is moving goods between districts. Because we have our gears being made up here, but do I have to duplicate that down here? I'm not really sure, so We'll have to figure that out once we get there, of course. Uh, we'll see how long it takes for them to build these stairs because I got to bring the, the planks all the way from up here, all the way down there. And uh, well, I guess all the stuff they have to do that with because we don't have any storage for it yet. And it looks like it's working OK. We've got a couple of our platforms and the stairs are coming together, so it's working out. All right, so that's built up. And so we should have a couple of gears. We have six gears. So let's take and some planks. Hmm. Um, so what I want to do is, of course, move this beaver from here to start connecting this. But if we cut this off, we aren't going to have any planks left. So what we would have to do is either mm, stop building everything or we build another power supply thing like that and start making planks in a different place. So I think I'm just going to leave this as is. I do want to connect this, but I'm going to leave it like this for now, I think. And uh, we'll just see how that goes. And it looks like we can put our inven inventors back. It'll be like that. We have four more unemployed beavers now. So we're going to put a couple in here. And uh, put two more in here. And then one in here. So migrate population is interesting. I'm wondering if that's migrating from here to here. As far as populations in between districts. I'm not really sure. We'll have to see how the districts work out. But do that. It's no problem. And yeah, now it's just a little bit of a waiting game. We're going to be building up and uh, we can start planning, maybe le leveling up this water over here. OK, so we got the flow coming this way, right? So if we were to dam it, how high is this down here? So that's only one block. So if we dammed this, we would lose all of these trees unless we blocked it here and uh, went like this. And that was where our water line ended. So that would raise all of this up a little bit and that where is that going to hurt so that's going to take out these blueberries don't really care about the blueberries but that's going to flood this area which that's not that big a deal and what else would it affect over here it's going to take those trees out well it's going to have a it's going to go well maybe not that goes up a level does it go up a level at all anywhere else nope yeah so these trees would get flooded out but this is going to all be would all be green and then we could access those trees if we needed to I don't think we will now that we have uh, such a good system going with uh, the trees up here for now. Anyways, we'll probably have to get there eventually, but I think we could we could do this. It'd be pretty cool. So let's go ahead and we're going to go and get into our levees and our dams, of course. So levees, of course, remember that you're going to block everything. So we want this to be. Ooh, this is going to be tricky to get over there, isn't it? Let's do it right here and it will be in line with our other space uh, uh it'll be in line with this right here so that, will, that should work up quite nicely we want to do one of these and one of those okay and that's going to get started and let's just you know we could just build this up so that's not going to be able to get access for a long time because we don't have any pathing over there but that's okay and then we could block 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 and block all right and then that's going to lift it up one level if we once that's completed. And that's all we wanted, right? So let's do this. And then we could do like, let's do three openings. I don't really know how much you need. Yeah, yeah, we'll do four. Damn. OK, so now that should get filled up pretty high, pretty high over here. That should be great. And then while we're waiting, we can do a pathway. And we can do like this. And then we could do a stairway to get down like that. And then, hmm. So how could we do this? So if we did one platform, that would be a stairway. I'm trying to get up, up here is what I'm thinking here. Oh, we could go across and then go up. That would work. So what if we went like this? So that's at the same height. Looks like it's one higher. So if we went double. Yeah, let's do that. Double, double, stair, stair. 
and then we got a single guy right here like so and go like that go like that and then i did it hmm i moved this over so that we could put a path around this but i don't think we actually really need to because we could always do a stair on the other side so i'm going to get rid of that guy and let's put the stairway here and then we can do a single and then we are going to have to go up and do one more double right there and then we can pass this way there we go nice and we'll just connect it all like that all right so there we go there we got our a dam over there that's gonna lay that's gonna raise this water level back over here should be pretty good and we can play with that we could go higher if we want to it'll be easier to uh reach over here once we do so let's just see how that goes that's gonna be a lot of logs it's gonna be a little ways uh, down the road but it's uh, something we can work on so it'll be cool once it's good to go so something else that i wanted to play with a little bit more is get into some more uh leisurely stuff and see what else we can do as far as that goes uh, i think we're gonna grab the shrine spirituality buff so we'll grab that and we'll just stick this guy right in there see how long that takes to get built up oh, it's only logs so instantly pretty much so that's pretty cool let's see if we can get a good whoa get a good view of that rotate around let's sneak in there like so there we go that's cool it's a little uh little looks like a little beaver guy that's what lights up when they get to it and so let's see what this does for him so shrine that's an additional additional five percent working speed so that's cool little thing working there and going on uh, another thing that would be nice is if we had some bigger water tanks so if we go check that out that's going to take 20 gears how many gears we have eight we could we could do that we could get into this so that's oh my goodness that's humongous that's huge <laughs> okay that's fine uh, so I was thinking we could like run something over here and use this area for our more water storage. Just kind of use it. It's kind of this wasted right now. So I want to use it for something better than just green grass, but it's not that green grass is so bad. Kind of nice to have a little area that's not used up with something. A lumberjack flag. So this guy, we're going to have to move this. Oh, nobody's working there anyways. Okay. Bye. That's gone. Okay, there we go. A little intersection. This is going to take quite some time to get built up because we're only at the eight gears. Our log pits are, our log piles are full. So that means that our trees rates are doing well. So we can see we got some mature trees are uh, stockpiled up and ready to roll. We got backup built, in, built here. And how are we doing on food? 670. Great. So that's working. Oh, I think I forgot to adjust this. So I want carrots. And we are going to prioritize planting. If you prioritize planting, they will always have carrots coming up. That's a that's a good idea, I think. So we'll do that. And this thing is still waiting to get cut down. Okay. Uh, so their lumberjack flag over here. No employed, unemployed beavers in the district. So in this area, we have four unemployed. Down here, we have none. So we have to migrate population to get over here. So that's very interesting. I'm wondering if I'm going to have to build housing for them. So let's see if we go migrate population and I want to go from district one to district two, how many adults? Uh, let's do two to begin with. Okay. And then we're going to migrate. Okay. So then they come down here and we have two workers here and we got somebody clearing. And I'm really wondering if they just are going to pass out here like they, they do at the very beginning of the game. If that started, we'll get somebody no unemployed beavers because we have two workers there so let's do this let's cut one of these guys out and then we are going to oh let's pause for a second we have to cut the trees i forgot about this part we have to mark all these guys for cutting there we go and so now our little guy goes out starts working on the trees and then they'll start to store stuff here and there we go and they're gonna start to build so it's kind of like starting over it looks like as far as workers go I don't know, like I said, so we'll see here if they pass out in the middle of the road. I, th I think that's what they're going to do. Yep. Okay, so good things to know. Each district is its own little like town, basically. So what we're going to do is we're going to need to have lodges, some homes. So I think what we'll do here is we'll get ourselves into... I'm trying to decide how I want to design this. Let's just do like a stack of these. Actually, let's do this. Stop it. Let's put a big one on the bottom. 
like that. And then we can start to do this. We'll do a, not a double platform, a single platform. And we'll do a single platform. And then we'll do a single platform. And then I want to do a stairway. I know I could do a stairway right there and just do it that way, but I have an idea what I want to do here. So do it like that. And then, oh shoot. Okay, so, <laughs> so problem is these guys have no water down here. I totally didn't think of that. So I'm wondering what we do. How do we reach the water level? So I'm not really sure. I'll have to work on that, I think, between episodes. But for now, thanks for coming and hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope you have a fantastic and amazing rest of your evening, day, or night. I'm going to move these beavers back to the other district so they don't die out. But uh, thanks for coming and hanging out with me, and I hope to see you on the next episode of Timberborn.